The first time I saw a Sung vase, I was completely struck by the elegant beauty and the quiet voice of the piece. And I could not take my eyes off it. There is an awe and an aura about the piece. Sakamoto Goro is one of the great icons of the Japanese art world. He has dealt with and has sold to his clients over the years some of the most extraordinary pieces of Song ceramic art that I've ever seen. The Japanese appreciation for Song ceramics really started at about the time that the Song ceramics were being made. Japanese monks and indeed Chinese monks admired this aesthetic and it fit with the Zen philosophy. The tea ceremony originally came from China, and the Japanese elevated it into an art form far more sophisticated and far more ritualized than the Chinese. In every tea room, there will be alcove to one side, in which a painting will be hung, and a piece of ceramic or a work of art will be placed. There's almost a religious element to this. The pieces were wrapped beautifully in silk. The way they're wrapped up is designed so that the unwrapping is an unveiling, so your excitement, your anticipation is built. The vortex jar defines why I do what I do. The vortex design is very unusual in Chinese art. This simple brushed spiral somehow draws you in, a little bit like a vortex. It's very rare to find an object where the glaze and the carving have so beautifully intertwined. It's boys clambering amongst uh, scrolling lotus flowers shown very beautifully in three dimensions. The Sung aesthetic was very much about sophistication, about subtlety, and the result of that is a real surprise. It 